one. Let's jump into most likely to talk too much or talk too little or do both. You know what I mean? You want to do too little? I put Mel for too little. I had Mel for too little as well. I put Mel, Joe. All right. Yeah, for sure. It hurts. And then, and then, and honestly, it's not even that. It's kind of a double-edged sword. Mm. She either talks too little, but when she does try to get a point off, niggas like to cut her off too. You know what I'm saying? I keep hearing that. Hey, y'all, y'all helping to talk too little. Who's y'all niggas? helping to talk too little. Nick, Joe, Flip. I, the niggas here yeah, that's sitting here working with everybody. Look at the But you gotta yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta say it. Yeah, yeah. The Call them you, out. The They're not niggas anymore. Couches. They're names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, she definitely got Fine. I got her for talking yeah, a little. And they, they tried to give her words like stop meandering. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like she that. gave us but, that word. But that <laughs> is a part of like the appeal. Yeah. Uh, in a weird way Like it's just like The energy but Well oh, that's misogynistic <laughs> at, uh, No no I mean shit It's your set But <laughs> But Mel At the end of the day I, uh, She talks a little bit Too little But then um, I think she time, should Give her uh, I think this gonna be It's gonna be interesting Next year because It's like She talked a lot You know when she um, Had something to say About Kent right And then all hell Broke mm-hmm. loose You know what I'm saying So it's like Yeah That was a jump out The You know that was a Jump out moment I'm gonna have a firm Point on something And then Y'all corrected her. So it's like next year, niggas are really going to be looking at. So like when she does jump out and has that opportunity, it's like. Next year, I will edit out her firm takes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah. Meticulously. I have Carisha please on here, too, just because we don't ever get episodes of that. For talk too much or too little? Too little. You know what I'm saying? That's my number one pick for talk too little. Yeah, Yeah. that's just, I don't even know how many episodes came out in She ran away with this one. But do you like her? For sure. Love her. Yeah. I absolutely love her. It It was weird in the beginning. I didn't know how to feel about it. But like once second, third episode dropped. I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool. Like, it's just a, the, are those all the episodes? How many? I mean, for like honestly, how many do we even have to pick from? I think now? it's like six, eight. She's, six she's or eight. got a few. It's okay. a few. A few is too little for sure. But this is the thing. But this has been like two years in on top of that. But yeah, her show that shit fire. Like people enjoy her. You know what I'm saying? Like they get comfortable around her quickly. It's crazy how well she does with only six. A mm-hmm. lot. It takes a lot of people a long it's, time to even get them that comfortable with them, but. The first thing I tell podcasters is you get to pick your cadence. Yeah. You don't have to pick a cadence that you're uncomfortable with. Pick. Well, you want to do once a month? Do it. You want to yeah. do bi-monthly? Mm-hmm. Do it. So yeah. she's doing it. She's sticking to it. It sucks. Yes. <laughs> but I love the show. It's yeah. unfortunate. Yo, she low managing like Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Uh, yes. Did y'all have anybody else for Talk Too Little? Those are my two that nah, I Nah, Carisha's pre- pretty I much I didn't really have little. anything for Talk Too Little. No, it was little. a few shoe wins for that one, but yeah. we might as well go into the, talk the most too entertaining much. one. Yeah. yeah. Talk Too Much. Yeah, Drink Champs. Uh, I, got, <laughs> I, got, I got a couple. I got Drink Champs. I got Nori from Drink Champs. Because sometimes, you know, mid-interview is hard to start really enjoying it because as soon as the story gets juicy it's whoa whoa, whoa, whoa hold on hold on you know mm-hmm. it's clarification that i'm already i'm on board with this this fucking story mm-hmm. can we can you just let them cook please you know what i'm saying yeah. so i can hear the rest of the story <laughs> hold all these follow-up questions you know what i'm saying let's just can i get to the fucking story you know yeah. what i'm saying he's yeah. phenomenal at halting momentum <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like shit was swinging Literally. this way and all of a sudden yeah he man and that's the beauty of it drink mm-hmm. chance we drunk I, I know my cutoff game is crazy when I'm drunk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're supposed to be the host. You're supposed to specialize in getting them drunk. Facts. Holding your drunk maybe till the last hour. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. sip and babysit it. And then Say he don't got no composure. at the last hour, we probably got all of our best stories, mm-hmm. you know? Or I give him a little grace because he's in Miami. Because okay. he's in Miami? Yeah. Okay. Interesting the choice. The party starts when we wake up. <laughs> Look, the location mm, shouldn't true. change. You yeah. know what I mean? The product. There's like, certain podcasts that only work in Miami, like Fresh and Fresh Fit. And fit. Fresh and fit yeah. all it the works ones. the best. That's the best location for it. That's a, my, go ahead. Oh, but that's the only place you can get that many women that look that good and sound that stupid. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. in one a, sitting, yeah, bro, yeah. nigga. Bro, that that just walk down the street. I've so many like. Was in Vegas recently, LA recently. I'm like, no, no, the Miami bitches is different. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're like, different. Yeah. Bro, they're different, bro. The one at the gas station is talking just like the one 
with a half a million followers that's on Fresh and Fit. Talking about I'm a business owner, I have properties and investments, but can't go into detail with anything. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, it's kind of crazy down there. <laughs> no portfolio, just a mattress on the floor. How about yeah. this? Shout some out. press ons. Like, Shout out to all the ass in Miami. Yeah. I put a Gilly down. Um, he talks a lot sometimes. <laughs> he talks, he a, talks lot. a lot. I, it was weird. He's kind of an honorable mention. Like he's kind of like the last on my list. Okay. Uh, but yeah, sometimes when he does his interviews, it's like it gets real egregious. Like he just wants to talk. You know what I mean? He has and the same part of the problem. He has the same like problem. The yeah. It's the, just it's the, the respect take, man. and it's just like you're kind of giving in an interview, and a lot of times it doesn't feel like he's ever like. Trying to figure Giving. out what's more cringy. Like. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He, cutting he, the story off for a bad joke or just like cutting the story off because you're drunk. Yeah, like not everything. I don't know which one is worse. It's like, well, I don't mind the bad joke. Because Gilly's cutoffs are well, like normally bad jokes. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I, I respect the joke, but yeah. not everything has to be funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Always. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like, it's it's a time and place for everything, but that's I, why I put them on there. I, I personally would, don't mind the bad joke at because, you know, yeah. they all come from the same place. It's like if it lands, then he cut it off for a reason. Tone Everybody's groove. satisfied. I, Tone Groove I, I cuts a lot of slack to comedians that I'm not as willing to cut. Which is why I was going to say you know, I put I Andrew him. Schultz on this list, to be honest with you. Talk too, talk too much. much. Andrew, Andrew fucking much. Andrew, much. Andrew, and I love Andrew, talk but he talks much. too fucking much. Same I'd be thing. like, bro, the joke is over. And then mm-hmm. he persists on the joke. On the after joke. I'd be like, my nigga, I've heard the joke already. And yeah, it's not funny anymore. You can't. If you're going to come back with the callbacks, make it be a callback. Don't do it sequentially. You know what I realized with Schultz? Schultz, his best interviews are with Ack because it's like, it's kind of like with Joe. Like, Joe gives the best content to the people that he likes. You know what I'm saying? Ack and um, and Schultz, Schultz. they enjoy each other. But even in that one, their new episode is like four hours. The first hour is like, Andrew has to tire himself out. Once he tires himself (laughs) out, then then, then we're going to start flowing. You know Uh, what I'm saying? It still might be some bullshit that pops up here and there, but at least he's not like, that first hour, I'm only like 30 minutes in, but I'm like... It's probably got 30 more minutes of this shit. Bro, it's always off. a fine line. Like, yeah. you can talk a lot, like with Joe, like with you, right? You talk a lot, but you don't talk too much. Thank God. It's a <laughs> fine line. You get what I mean? And I guess that could be of like what you're actually saying. You get what I mean? But, anyways. Oh, man. Can we go back to. Never mind. I don't even watch anybody to even give him a shot. Never mind. All right, I'll go. give mine while you're I was going to ask you, who you yeah. uh, talk too much. Act. <laughs> no. Ack. Ack. Go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Get some sleep and some rest. Coffee Ack on report room. on stories that it's like, why are you doing this? Lil Fizzle Top went to the mall and saw his op dirty drawers pants, <laughs> man. <laughs> and they stared at each other. And he'll unpack it. He will. he will. But Joe. 25 minutes. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Who cares? Joe, this might be an age issue. There's a lot of like, like a lot of up. things mm-hmm. that he talks about is for a different I age know. demographic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enough. He covers too much shit. He got to cover them Sit for down. one man. That's why he needs a team. He, he's mm-hmm. got a team. He's got a team. No, no but he's got a Yeah, gotta, the chat <laughs> niggas is his team. Like, but he has to cover not, his streaming No, Ack has though. a team. He'd be fine. Grand Wizard, they all chat niggas though. Right. Oh yeah. yeah, bro. He has to cover his streaming hours. Like, act streaming hours. Like, you know, normally they you got to put in like a thirty to forty hour work week. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you can't just cover the the hip hop shit for that long. You have to hit all levels. You know what I'm saying? And it's, so it's not all gonna be for us. And don't let him get some henny in him. Oh, it's oh, let me God. tell you what I think about Scissor. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. 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 Nobody said anything. Scissor ain't bothered nobody. Please don't. Yeah, yeah. bro. Uh, yeah. I got fucking, uh, 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 fuck. What's this guy's name? Adam and, uh, Adam and Wack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wack 100 was mine Wack. as well. Adam and Wack. I, I yeah, yeah. Adam and Wack, but just Wack. Both of them. Adam should shut the fuck up at all times. So any word, <laughs> yeah. any word he says, it's too like much. it's too much for me. Yeah. And Wack is my man, but he talks. Wack is a good one. Talks a lot. Yeah. Wack enjoys it. Mm-hmm. Wack enjoys it. He you know I mean, repeat. by definition, I guess podcasters all talk too much. Yeah. True. But I can tell the ones that really enjoy speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, like Wack want to go have a business meeting and talk to the fucking the gang members, then get yeah. on the clubhouse, <laughs> then do a pod. He want to get all the podcasters together. Like I don't want to yeah. talk this much. Yeah, yeah. Like you can see him dancing to the sound of his yeah, voice. Didn't y'all do that? As he <laughs> sit didn't y'all do that thing where he just had like 10, 20 podcasters in one studio? Don't say y'all. I wasn't you, weren't you weren't there. Okay. No survey. Okay. He was not a part of that okay. shit. Okay. Not I, got, I got the invite to the wedding. Yeah. yeah. Sent the gift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. Grab some popcorn chicken. Yeah, and yeah, I'm comfortable yeah. here where I have space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I got Hassan Campbell for talks too much as well. Y'all it's, keep putting dudes actually, that are solo acts too, though. Like most of it, most of their content is them by themselves. That's a good point. How could they possibly talk too much? So it's, it's kind of it kind of makes more sense if we put somebody that talks too much that's with people, right? Hassan Campbell just shooting air guns at the camera, talk. nigga. He's not. He's not. That talking is true. Though, I didn't even think about it like that. And at the mm-hmm. 17th floor of the Bronx. Project. I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he, he was to talking too much that day. Like he was talking. He talked so too it, much that day. That, so that, that's a fact. Yeah. So any that was smart. Is and yeah. that is talking too much. You know, that's yeah. pretty if fair to say. People are throwing bottles at you from the window. He probably should. You said too much. Yeah. That was so gangster. I was like, niggas is throwing bottles? What? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy Yo, as see, well. And that's, you are the problem with <laughs> society. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I was waiting for a chair to come down, bro. I was yeah. like, they about, to up the, they about to up the score of this shit. It's crazy. He ain't even ducking. He just started I recycling out the window bottles, on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But who are, are they known for that? That many bottles lying around. Because right. I know you're yeah. for this like, purpose, probably. Like, you're from here. Like, you've heard of that, right? Like, this that's is a, a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. People throwing bottles. Oh, oh shit! Mm-hmm. Bottles, well, rocks. Man. He should have known that that was gonna happen. Yeah. That's like he lucky. Bonding. Well, he got shot, so he's not lucky. Oh shit, that's true. <laughs> you can't really plan on getting shot. Yes, you can. Maybe. <laughs> yes, yeah. you can. You yeah. can. If you yeah. go, uh, you could be proactive to with it. Yeah. Many of the projects in the Bronx, and just stand there and scream like he was screaming. <laughs> nine times out of ten, you, you're gonna get shot. Mm. Yeah, now nah, he took daytime. <laughs> you gonna take your thing to your own? It hands. was daytime. Yeah. Yeah, they're not playing well. Sunday morning. He was he out there. Bro, he was it out was there. God's day. Bro, it was Sunday morning, and it was like 9, 30, 10. And it's like, what the fuck, bro? It's too yeah. early for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> and where was your gun doing that? Right. Why yeah. did you yeah. only have the little knife or whatever? Yeah. 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 He did take accountability. I'll give him that, though. Yeah. He was like, I was drinking all night. You can't tell what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The dude that shot him <laughs> took a I feel all the empathy for him and what he went through, but that nigga is hilarious to me. And then bro. he felt sorry for the dude that shot him because he missed. Bitch ass nigga couldn't yeah. kill me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. <laughs> Amazing. But you earned the right to say that when you survived. I was going to say, that's the only way you can react. That's, that's your right to say, passage. right? Yeah. Shout out to us, son, man. Can we I got, go to uh, most? Oh, I, I got right. Just Pearly Things. That was my last one. I got Just Pearly Things on Talk Too Much. Oh, Talk Too Much. Oh, yeah. yeah, because she talks so much. Not only did she get demonetized off YouTube, they got her the fuck up out of there. They completely deleted her channel. So This yeah. is the white girl, right? The white girl, yeah. yeah. But did yeah. she get demonetized for talking too much or for saying the wrong shit? She was talking exactly. too much because everybody got hit before her. Mm-hmm. Andrew Tate went down. Uh, Fresh and Fit went down. Uh, Kevin Samuels, RIP. He, his content, you know, that just stopped. But it was like everybody in the red pill YouTube sphere that had motion all got clipped before she did. She was literally the last, the last one. And she, but she was still moving like the, like the YouTube niche just blew up. It's like, what are you doing? Like mm. everybody else has been clipped. We all see why they got clipped. Yeah. Some of them we didn't know why, but majority of the time we see all why they got clipped. You still moving like there's no rules out here. Mm. You just didn't give a fuck. And it's like, so it's like. They got her up out of here, man. Her arrogance did her dirty, bro. I was about to say, how you feel about the red pill? I don't. <laughs> you don't feel nothing? He doesn't feel. Yeah. You're not what is the red pill? Is that, what is, you I've, know I've what heard it, a different description bro, I'm for not this community gonna, you, a bunch you of times. You, you might get four different definitions. I don't even know what to tell you about that shit. I just know men's improvement. It sounds like incel shit to me. Yeah, yeah but it's all A lot of times. A lot of times. It's pimping, it's hoes, it's incels. Yeah. It's, it's all levels. Oh, okay. it's, you can go to it for what you need it for. Like, you can go to it on some incel shit if you just like watching guys embarrass women. Or you can go to it if you're actually just looking for some self improvement and a dude that's put together like, look, you should do this, work this many hours, you know, shit like you can like get a, a lot. like a titty bar. You can yeah, go for you the bar, you can go for titties. See, exactly. I think that's go for the like wings. Oxymoron. How can I get self improvement from the guys that are and that's why that feel I'm not good even, about embarrassing the women? Well, that's why I'm not even trying to put a definition on red pill. I don't know what the shit is. I just know there's I, different. I shit know in that there. when somebody's in front of me talking red pill. I am normally in a different yeah, group than them. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, yeah not right, much. right, right. Yeah, have a blast. Yeah, 
I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Some of them have like see through. Uh, what was that older black gentleman? Who? Uh, 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 it's gonna be publishing. Uh, King of Alpha oh, It's like it's yeah. a couple of them that are like cool. They talk the red pill knowledge. And it's like yeah. it, it's. Got over. I watch it for like content, not really like for enlightenment. Are you red pill? <laughs> nah, I don't think I am. That's a crazy question. I don't think I am. You, you just act like he hated women. Nah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. What that whoa, mean? whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> but what was that? Mean? <laughs> telling, right? Tony has a wife. He's in love. I have okay. a lovely Fuck bride. Let's joke about him. You know, shout out to her. We didn't mention. I do don't, believe don't that the over. whole red pill analogy, metaphor, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. I think it started off. In a good place. In a good place because it was essentially about like niggas breaking from the matrix, yeah. like you don't want to work a nine to five. You don't want to be a slave and a fucking gimp to society. You want to take that shit in your own hands and be a boss. I think that's where it started off because you, uh, what was bro's name? But why is that Big black dude from entrepreneur? Uh, well, entrepreneur. It's because they, it's the they encompass women, like the woman aspect. And that's because it's like money and bitches. is just like, Synonymous. Synonymous. But, nah, but it also started off with like it how to be a man life. type shit like how to, how to tie a tie like it started off with some of that shit it was like yeah. how to tie a tie but how to do certain man shit that you may not have if you don't have a father or whatever the fuck exactly okay, yeah I'm not with none of this yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't go, oh, I'm gonna send you somebody yeah, yeah. like I talk to my dad thanks yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> you were one of the lucky I was about to say not everybody has a father I talk to my dad every day he cooks for me yeah yeah he loves me yeah right it's a lot of those niggas you can't Oh, can't relate. Really. <laughs> Sorry. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah, but what's uh, household? That's a privilege. But yeah, yeah, like, all my friends that had money growing up had dads in the crib. I thought it was an association. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you had to have a certain bank account to have your father. Yeah, right, literally. Right. Cool. right. But yeah, uh, we done with this section, so let's move over to the next 